Hello my Hello Kitty fans, this is Hello Gabius and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification and like this video. In today's video, I have the latest Boxu Box collaboration with Hello Kitty and I did get it about a couple weeks ago and I wanted to share this with you. So this is the onsen afternoon box the best flavors for the best of friends hello kitty and friends and box Sue. now this one uh, should be my last subscription box for my subscription period i believe it was only one year uh, for the subscription which included six boxes and this would be my sixth box box looks in great condition it's very clean really love that i always love the colors for the boxes definitely keepsake for me and this box does come a little bit more pink than the others the others had like an orange tones this one has pink it's she's here in dark pink and the lettering and the box itself is light pink in great condition totally love it so let's open it up and on the lid, it says delicious snacks for delightful times. Really pretty, definitely love the boxes. Okay, so this is the manual or the friend's guide. This is volume six because this is technically the sixth box that Boxu has offered with collaboration with Hello Kitty. And it just looks so delightful. So they do have like that jacuzzi style or that Japanese style where you'll get in the very warm water even though it's like snowy outside. Very relaxing, I'm sure. And so it does say that the next box is going to be in April. I don't know if I'm going to be resubscribing to the box just yet. So this is a friend's guide and we'll look at this a little bit later. Ooh, okay, so for the first item is a postcard. Very, very pretty so we do have the message from the founder in this very beautiful postcard love that definitely keepsake Ooh, and we have the stickers now these stickers are, are different from the regular stickers that they include because the other stickers are kind of like just perhaps two tones and this is a colorful sticker so they have a lot of color on it and there's quite a few stickers on here too and it's on the hot springs for the Japanese style. Hello Kitty and Koromi are already enjoying their little hot tubs there. Really cute, really pretty. Love the stickers. Then we do have our paper coaster and it is beautiful guys and I love that it is Hello Kitty in her little hot tub there. Hot Springs. So cute. Then we do have our round sticker. Same theme. very pretty next item this is cinnamon roll and this is very cute it's probably like a candy dispenser of some kind okay and as you move this little switch here cinnamon rolls ears also move so cute so let's open up this dispenser and see what kind of candy it's in here so this is the sanrio petite stick ramun cinnamon roll and so this is like a pest dispenser i just have to figure out how to open it okay so i opened it up and it does have like these little white pills <laughs> looks like medicine um in here and I don't know how it will dispense. I have no idea how this is going to dispense, but I will figure it out later. This item is a Tyrolean and it's probably like a little chocolate cookie. So this is a Tyrolean cream roll cookie and it is chocolate. It's a pom pom perrine's pick. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. Ooh, 
Okay, so it's like a little wafer cookie and it has, it's supposed to be like cream inside. Mm -hmm. Really good. Light tasting. I can barely taste the chocolate, but it's still very fresh. This item, ooh, these are apple cookies. And let me just say that I love the packaging. So these are Hoko Sanrio characters, apple cookies. So cute. Love it. On the manual, it says Hello Kitty and Friends apple cookies. And this is um, two of Hello Kitty's favorite things have come together in this delicious snack. And these delicious cookies are shaped like her best friends and have a satisfying crunch in every bite. So let's take a look. So they're supposed to be formed like the Sanrio and Friends. Mmm, they do smell like apple. Ooh, so this is one of my little twin stars here. Cute. Mmm. My melody, it's so good. Very, very light tasting, very fresh, really good. Next item, ooh, love the packaging. It says 50th anniversary. So I'm assuming they're referring to Hello Kitty's 50th anniversary. And it's like all the Sanrio and friends and they're on a cake. So let's see what this is about. Or this is supposed to be Hello Kitty and Friends Wafer Premium Card. In honor of Hello Kitty's birthday, we pack these irresistible wafer cookies complete with collectible cards that feature Hello Kitty and her friends. So, this is for her birthday. So let's open it up and see what they're talking about, about these wafer cards. You see the wafer in there. Oh, and then they have these cards. Mmm, the wafer smells so good. I smell strawberry in there. And this is one of the collectible cards. So cool. So I'm assuming that these are also collectible. And I don't know how many there are in the series. But look at how pretty. This is definitely collectible. And in here it says that it's number 12. And it says 2024. So it's Bats Marui and has the Hello Kitty hat on. So cool. These are definitely collectible. Really, really like it. It does absolutely uh, scream out Hello Kitty to me. Okay, so that's the collectible card. Now the wafer itself. Let's take a taste. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Really crunchy. Sweet but light tasting. It's so good, so fresh. Cool. I am loving what's coming out of this box. Next item, I see pom pom purine. And this, I believe, is the Hello Kitty and Friends Charapaki chocolate. So there's going to be a chocolate in here on the Friends Guide. It actually has the packaging of Hello Kitty, but I got the Pom Pom Purine one. So there should be a chocolate in here. And then on the back, it does tell you all the ones that you can collect. So there's like a lot of Henry, Sanrio and Friends that you can collect. So let's see what we got. I got my melody. Look at how pretty. Such a beautiful chocolate. So pretty. I almost don't want to eat it. Maybe I can do a TikTok on this, eating this chocolate. So cute. But let me just show you. So it is a crackle bar. Mmm, these crunch bars are so good. So pretty. So detailed. So nice. Mmm. 
Mmm, smells so good. So I'm going to save this for a little bit later, but we do have a chocolate bar. Hmm, next item, it's a matcha bong kuchen. So I am assuming that obviously it's a, maybe like a candy. On the friend's guide, it says it's a Hello Kitty bong kuchen matcha, named after its mini rings. This Bang Kuchen treat cake is baked layers by layers for a luxurious, moist, and flaky texture with rich Kyoto Matcha flavor in every bite. It's supposed to be sweet. And I love that they included the tape on the outside to show Hello Kitty. So let's open this up. So it's supposed to be a sweet flavor. And it's just so moist. And I'm just gonna just get a little bite. I mean, very light tasting. Very, very light tasting. I guess you do get hints of matcha, but since I hardly have matcha, I don't know that I like matcha very much. Nevertheless, it's a very good, moist, very fresh cake. Next, we do have the Duzaki no Goishi Crunchy Mint Chocolate. So they look like little blue rocks. And according to the friend's guide, they look like little blue rocks. So let's open it up and see. These are the little rocks. They look like little chewing gum, but they're supposed to be chocolate. So I'm gonna try one. Mm hmm. Mm, very good. These are very good, very flavorful, sweet, cute, nice. Ooh. Next item, a Hello Kitty Mochi Amanatsu Orange. I bet you this is gonna be so good. Okay, so this one, according to the friend's guide, bite into the soft mochi and you'll discover a refreshing, sweet and sour orange jelly in its center. Mm. Yummy, yummy. So it does have powdered sugar all around it. I'm not going to open it, but Baksu so far has not failed on the freshness whenever they do provide mochis. And I take their word for it that it's going to look orange in the center like this. So. We do have a orange flavored mochi and it's so big too. Next item is a Chinchu milk manju and this is one of Pumperine's picks and this is a flower cake filled with Chinchu milk it says. Um, it's supposed to be sweet so it does have a little cow image on the front there. So I'm going to open it up and see what this tastes like. Ooh, it just, it looks so moist. It feels very moist, very fresh. And as soon as you open the package, you do get that uh, sweet smell. Mmm. You do see that milk filling in there. It's very light tasting. It's sweet. It's so good. I mean, this just melts in your mouth. So, so, so good. Okay, next we do have the typical hard candy that they always include. Love this Hello Kitty packaging. This hard candy is melon and champagne cider. So the little shapes of the candy is also a little different. And on here, it says that they are made by one of the oldest candy artisans of Kyoto, exclusive for Baksu. And these are colorful little tiles. So it is sweet flavored. So let's open it up and see what they look like. So you do see the little tiles. It's hard candy, and there you go. 
And I like that this is a resealable package. And again, it's melon and champagne cider flavor. Yum. Next item is a wasabi shoyu soy sauce, amuds and rice crackers. I, I can already tell you that these are gonna be really good because so far everything that food items that Baksu has provided are so fresh and um, it, it's not gonna disappoint, I already know, but this is what the cracker looks like. Mm. Oh my goodness, whoa. <coughs> now these pack a punch um it says that it says that these are spicy wasabi rice crackers and indeed they are i felt it right away in my nose like when you're eating um horseradish Oof, so good these are delicious mm. very fresh love these Okay, next item comes in another resealable package, like the hard candy. So these are melon gummies. Yummy. And on the French guy, they're sweet flavored. This is a Karopi's pick. And they are gummy. So let's take a look and see what they look like. So these are the gummies. Mm-hmm. I taste the melon. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Wow. Mm. These are delicious. They're firm but soft. So flavorful. These are just so delicious. And then our last food item are these, I guess these puffs. These are the Fuwa Ima Rice Chips Umami Salt. <clears throat> so they're savory. And let's take a look. So they're like rice puffs. Mm-hmm, very flavorful. They're like little strips, really weird, but so good. Wow, they're very, very good. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, these are so good too. They also just melt in your mouth. These are delicious. Okay, now we're heading towards the tangible items. So this is a hairbrush, so cool. And this cute little hairbrush, it's a personal size. It's firm. And I love the design in the back that goes with the hot spring, Japanese hot springs, or the theme of this box. I love the color. You can definitely carry this in your purse if you need to. Bristles are pink, candle is, is like a mint green. And I wanna see if there's anything else mentioned in the friends guide. So it's just a typical hairbrush. Um, so yeah, that's what this is. And our next item is a headband. Headband is so soft, it does have a bow, and you do see Hello Kitty in many positions here. Her little ducky there as well. So, so, so soft. Yep, you can work, definitely wear this when you're getting ready for bed, getting ready in the morning, your beauty routine or whatever. So soft and cute, and it goes well with the hairbrush as well. That's nice. 
and that is all for the box now as far as my thoughts about this box let me just say that it has been one surprise after another i really love the new the theme for the box which is the hello kitty which is the japanese hot springs and um i i love the color i love that they're including all of the sanrio and friends um i do like this headband i already have some of the headbands from the cream shop but i like that they also paired it with the hairbrush that's kind of nice and let me just say that i found that there are more food items with hello kitty designs on it so this is kind of what i would like to see if i'm subscribing to a hello kitty food subscription box i want to see more hello kitty food items on the wrappers because that is why i got the subscription box and i noticed that on this box i see a lot lot more So there's seven food items that have Hello Kitty theme on it, Sanrio and Friends, something like that. And that is what I love. That is what I want to see. And all of these food items are just so fresh, delicious. Everything else, savory or sweet, are just delicious as, as always. And I don't know how they do it. It seems like as soon as the food item is made, it's like shipped immediately because you can tell how fresh it is everything is just so delicious so so delicious boxu uh food items have not disappointed as far as for me i do love the intense sweet flavor which is not what you're going to get from japanese snacks so i understand that and it really makes up for it the freshness uh makes up for it because they really are delicious, even though they're very, very light, light tasting sweet snacks or savory snacks. I love it. I love the box of box. Um, I do like that they include the stickers on here. So it look, seems like that's a repetitive thing now to include like a sheet of stickers. They're always going to include the paper coaster and then the big round sticker on it. And then the uh, founder greeting for Boxu, they always comes in a nice um postcards such as this so this is my last box to hello kitty box don't know if i'm going to resubscribe to it just yet i don't know if i'm going to wait see what else is out there but i am so happy that i got to try the hello kitty and friends boxu box if you subscribe to the hello kitty and boxu box what are your thoughts and have you had a success like i have i absolutely love the boxes the condition it comes in always clean not too squashed i know they can't prevent too much of that because of the shipping process but i love it everything is collectible i wish they would include more though like the like those little uh, ceramic cups perhaps a little teapot i wish they would have included things like that things like this i can kind of get here like i said i have already some headbands from the cream shop i wish they would include a a bit more different items that uh, are more unique to Japanese and you know Boxu Hello Kitty. Um, nevertheless, the food itself is is just uh, I, I I won't find items like this here. I know that. So this is my video. I hope that you've enjoyed my last video for Hello Kitty and Boxu. Let me know what you thought of the items that Boxu includes and uh, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you have not subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.